I'm telling you to go to the Bible and read for yourself. Don't take my word, read, R-E-A-D, read. But no individually is called Church of Christ. You are a Christian individually, but collectively we make up the church. Brother, do you know the Lord? You won't know the Lord unless you know his word. Do you want to know why a lot of members of the Church of Christ, they come a while and get unfaithful? They really never repented. Hello, once again, I'm John Shannon, and we have another good lesson from you from Philippians chapter 3, 4 through 11. And we call this lesson, Some Religious Beliefs and Practices That Must Be Changed in Order to Be Saved. Please stay tuned. Philippians chapter 3, the text was read this morning, 4 through 11. And from that text, our lesson is about the Apostle Paul, who said that he was the chief of sinners. Our lesson this morning is some religious beliefs and practices that must be changed mm -hmm. to be saved. All right. Jesus Christ didn't come to the world to make people religious. They were already religious. But Christ came to make us religiously right. There are many things in, that people practice in religion and they believe it strongly. But coming to Christ and the new and living way, there are some things that have to be changed and dropped and completely abandoned. But look at Paul here. How, how can we know for sure Listen to me. How can we know for sure what to change? Only by using and rightly dividing the word of truth, the standard of authority in religious matters, that's God's word. Amen. You won't know this unless you uh, know the book. The faith that you have Is it your faith or your family faith? Children, the faith that you have, is it your faith or is it your mother's faith? Husband and wife, the faith that you have, is it your spouse's faith or is it your faith? Well, what, what's the difference? Well, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Have you read in the scriptures why you do what you do? Or are you just following somebody else? If that's the case, that's not your faith. That's somebody else's faith. Amen. And let me tell you something. When you don't have your own faith, when times of trouble hit, you're not going to stand. Amen. You need to listen. Let's look at the Apostle Paul. He calls himself the chief of sinners. Let's look at something here. We... Uh, first point we're going to look at, verse 4 through 6, we're going to look at Paul's past religion. We're going to look at Paul's past, in the Philippian letter he wrote there to the church and to the elders and deacons of the church at Philippi. Now I want you to listen to Paul is writing back to that church and he's telling them about his past religion. That's 4 through 6. Then we'll look at Paul's Pure repentance. Brethren, listen to me. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't repent, you can't be saved. Right. Genuine, pure repentance. Then, that's 7 through T, uh, 8. Then we look at Paul's precious redemption. That's 9 through 11. Then we'll make some applications. I want you to have your listening ears on. Church. 
turn it up high. Turn your phones off. Don't go to sleep. Mm -hmm. You got about 25 minutes. Now, watch this. Let's run down this text. Look at what Paul said. Paul said, though I may might also have confidence in the flesh. If any other man thinketh that he has whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. Watch this. Paul saying his fleshly birth, his fleshly birth, it was no salvation in it. Of course, he was a Jew. And the Jews thought because they were Abraham's seed, they were going to automatically be saved. Now watch this. I want you to know the red. He says, I. So there's no salvation in what he used to be. He says, though I may also have confidence in the flesh. Sometimes we say, look at who we are. That don't have nothing to do with it. And Peter says in Acts chapter uh, 11 there, of a truth, God is no respected person. Listen, no face value. God don't care anything about what color you are, right. uh, wh where you come from, all, all that. No, no, no. no, no, no none of that. No, no, no face value. It, it, not, God's not concerned about that. God wants all men everywhere to be saved. Right. Are you listening to me? Now, he, he says, and if any man thinketh that he has, well, he may trust in the flesh, he said, I'm old. I can trust in the flesh. Now, not only did he talk about his fleshly birth as a Jew, but now he talked about his family belief. It wasn't no salvation in that. Now, look, look at what he does here. Hey, man, we're good here. That's a sign there. Hey, man, we're good here. Maybe, maybe Brother Pettit is not doing a good job and Joe is not good a job. And, and make the, the turn the telephones off. But we, we, we're good. We ain't, nothing, ain't nothing, no love laws. Amen. Right, look here. His family believe. No salvation. Look at that. Sometimes we say, well, my mother died in this church, and I know she went to heaven. Whoa, that. Now look at this. Look what he says. He says about himself, circumcised the eighth day. What? From Abraham down to the uh, to the even today, the Jews were circumcised on the eighth day, right. not the seventh. God said in Genesis chapter seventeen nine to fourteen, they circumcised the babies on the eighth day. Well, why? Well, they don't do that now. They circumcise soon as born. Well, why? See, God knew what He's doing. God knew that. The clotting factors in the blood didn't take place till the eighth day. Uh -huh. If you do it on the seventh day, the baby would bleed to death because they didn't have the medication to stop the bleed. Get it? Did you get that? Did you get that? You need to listen. God is right. He said the eighth day. Well, so Paul is going over that, and then so he's looking at his requirement. Circumcised by because of what Abraham did. Then his relatives, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Of the stock of Israel. Look at that. He's bragging about his lineage. And sometimes I hear members of the Church of Christ saying stuff like this. Well, you know, my mama was Church of Christ and my daddy was Church of Christ and we, I'm Church of Christ all the way. And I said, ain't no such thing. Yeah. I'm not Church of Christ. And if you remember the Church of Christ, you're not Church of Christ. Right. You're supposed to be a Christian. Right. Amen. But no individually is called Church of Christ. You are a Christian individually, but collectively, we make up the church. Right. So stop right. calling yourself Church of Christ. I'm not a Church of Christ preacher. I'm a gospel preacher, and I'm a member of the Church of Christ. Amen. Talk to me now. Amen. Do it right. Amen. His relatives reliable of the tribe of Benjamin. What? Paul said, I was from the tribe of Benjamin. That was another Saul. He was from the tribe of Benjamin, and he wasn't no good. Who was it? His name was Saul. And Saul, before his conversion, he wasn't no good. Why? Because he persecuted the church of Christ. Right. What? Well, why you said church of Christ? Because that's the only one Paul knew anything about. All right. He didn't know nothing about no denomination back during right. his day. Why? Because they didn't exist. You better hear me now. 
race. What race? And Hebrew of Hebrews. Look at that. Religion. What? As touching the law of Pharisee. Paul said, I was a Pharisee. And he was really doting, talking about he was a Pharisee. Right. And all of this. Now watch this. The law of Moses never made a Pharisee. Yeah. Listen to me. The law of Moses did not make us Pharisee. If you're going to be a Pharisee, you're going to have to mix humanism with what the Bible say. Right. Now watch, you need to listen. The Bible never makes a Baptist. No, how how you going to get a Baptist out of the Bible? How you going to get, listen, how you going to get a Methodist out of the Bible, a Pentecostal, a Seventh-day Adventist, a Jehovah's Witness out of the Bible when the Bible don't talk about it? Amen. If you are either one of those names I just named, I'm not picking on you. I'm letting you know that there's some human stuff that's been mixed with divine stuff. Amen. Amen. The Bible only makes Christians only in one and the same church. Amen. Bible, amen. Amen. Now, what do you say? What's your subject? Some religious beliefs and practices that one must change to be saved. What? Oh, that's good, isn't it? Con look at his reputation. Look here. Uh, concerning zeal, look, look at this. A Pharisee. Uh, I mean, concerning zeal, persecuting the church. Paul said he persecuted the church. Now, here's the question. What church did Paul persecute? Wait, just, I want you to think a moment. Do you think Paul went down the yellow pages in America and looked at all these different churches and said, I persecuted? No, Paul never persecuted no Christian church. Amen. No Baptist or Methodist. Brother Sam, why you call these names? You're going to hurt somebody. Well, you need to know this. Amen. Paul never did persecute no Catholic church. Why? It didn't exist then. Right. Amen. Amen, somebody. Now, I said he was a Pharisee. He talked about the strictest, straightest sex and all that. Don't mean nothing, but he persecuted the church. Now, living right, touching the righteousness, which is of the law, blameless. Paul said, I live according to the law. Right. All right. Pretty good. Look at that. No salvation in his family ties, a uh, 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 flesh, no salvation. Watch it in his family. Believe. Got it? Now, he just talked about all this stuff. Now, you get, a, get your outline of this lesson and go home this week sometime and just study it. it, it listen, it, you, you get a lot of information and it'll help you grow spiritually. Right. But let me just stall here a moment. Are you taking advantage of all these good lessons that we're handing out on sheet? Or do you take them home and throw them away? There are people, there are people all over America are calling the Secretary of James Road and want to know when, how can I get these, these lessons that he's putting out on, on YouTube? Mm -hmm. And as we think about coming out with a book, and here you are, got access to it, and you won't even use it. Right. Shame right. on you. Right. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Right. You ought to be some of the smartest people in the city of Memphis on stuff like this, because right. you got access to it. Look, and you're hearing it, you're seeing it, and then you're taking it home with you. Right. And then if you couldn't hear it good enough, you can go over and get a, a, what is it, a CD? CD? So look at what you get. And that's a little excursion. I'll get back to my lesson here. That's pretty good, isn't it? Now, now we're going to look at Paul. Now, he talks about his past religion. Now, he talks about his pure repentance. Uh -huh. Well, what do you mean pure? A pure means undiluted. When it says repentance, what do you mean? He completely changed. You want to know why a lot of members of the Church of Christ they come a while and get unfaithful? They really never repented. Amen. See, when you yeah. repented toward God, guess what you're saying? I am giving my life totally to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And ain't nothing going to stop me from serving my God. Amen. God has been good to me a long time. Now listen here, we got some new converts here. I think the last one is no, it's, no. Huh? Jermaine. T Taylor. Taylor, right? Then we got uh, Reno. Reno. There we go. I asked Reno Levada. Is that what it is? Reno. Wait a minute. Look, look, look at and look, See, we got some new converts in this congregation. And some of you folks hadn't been here in a while. You don't even know 
there's a newborn babe in Christ here. Is that pretty good? Amen. And guess what we're going to do right now? We're going to stop right now in the middle here, and all the new converts stand up and turn around and look Amen. that way. Come on, come on, you two. All, all of you, come on. Come on, turn, you, turn up and turn around. Turn, hey, come on, turn up. Turn up turn around. Turn, turn around let them see. Look, that, that, that Taylor back there. Hey, see it? Now see all these new babies in Christ? You all are glad that we got a newborn babe in the, in the church, and we're going to meet them. Y'all sit down now. That good? Now, now, now I, I, I got to do this, Joe. This, is this pretty good? Now, Brother Shannon, you're going to be up here a long time. No, I'm not. Listen to me, because they got me time. Let me show you something. Let me show you how good God is. We've had a lot of members in this church to die. Right? And see if you don't propagate what you mean. Produce more, you'll die. Look at these folk here. We just obey the gospel. And if you don't get the good look at their picture, go out there and look in the foyer and their picture's on the wall. Look at them. Know your brothers and sisters. Just obey the gospel. Is that pretty good? You know, when I was a kid, somebody had a newborn baby. Let me hold the baby. Is that what we said? Now, guess what we all said now? Let me hug the baby. Newborn baby. That's pretty good. And we need to have something special for these new converts. Because some of these new converts already, and there's one old brother Alexander there he, man, he been coming. He don't ever miss. Oh yes, sir. Boy, I yes, say sir. I'm kind of worried about him. I don't know. He may be trying to take my job. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's a little discouraging, but we we appreciate it. We appreciate it, y'all. Just, yes, listen, sir. continue to be faithful to God, and let me, the, the greatest thing you can do while you're a member of the church is be faithful to God. Well, that's going a little further. That's a little excursion. That's a little short trip. Uh, now, Paul, pure repentance. Look here. He, he uh, rejected his human religion. Yes, but he said, Paul said in verse 7, but what things were gained to me, though I count lost for Christ. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes we talk about what we used to be. Mm-hmm. Paul said it was all lost. Right. In other words, Paul said I was a Pharisee. I was a Jew from the stock of Benjamin. I mean, from the tribe of Benjamin. All that. Paul said that don't mean nothing. You're like me. I was Catholic, been to Methodist, been to all these different churches. None of that stuff don't count. You know what counts? I'm a member of the Church of Christ now, and I'm a New Testament Christian. That's what counts. Well, let's go a little further here. Uh, he said, uh, he, says, uh, gain, uh, he said, uh, but what things were gained to me, I count, uh, I counted uh, laws for Christ. Now, he rejected his human resources. Look at what he found in Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but laws for the excellency. Look at this, brother, for the excellency, excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. Right. Brother, do you know the Lord? You won't know the Lord unless you know his word. Amen. Do you study his word? Talk to me, somebody. What knowledge is greater than the knowledge about the Lord Jesus Christ? Nothing. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen in the churches of Christ, take some time out to study the Bible. Amen. Don't go through your whole life, your children on cell phones and hidden net and texting, and never take time out to study the Bible, and you got it in your phone hand already. Right. All you got to do is hit play, right. and it'll Amen. read the Bible to you. Amen. I'm helping somebody out. Amen. Then, look at that. What he found in Christ. Good as he. Is that pretty good? Then what he forsook for Christ. Look at what it says. He said for whom I am. Whom I have suffered. The lost of all things. And do count them but dung. The word dung has to do with rubbish. That I may win Christ. What would you put over Christ? Tell me, what do you put over the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you put your family over it? Your religion? Past religion? The world? Let me stop here. How many of you here working for the devil? Did you work for the devil last week? Raise raise your hand. (laughs) Everybody that worked for the devil last week in any capacity, raise raise your hand. Did you send a, a text to the devil's children? Last week, 
Did you look at any crazy stuff on TV last week? Yep. That's giving devil the time. Right. Are you listening to me? Are you shacking up with somebody you're not married to? See, you you playing right in the devil. Did you reach a horoscope? Avis, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, uh, all the O's. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You got to give that stuff up. That's, that's heathenism. That's of the devil. And a lot of members of the Church of Christ who are ignorant, don't know God's word, they are following that stuff. And a lot of... Yeah, please listen. Oh boy. Oh boy, isn't it good? It's rubbish that I may gain Christ. Now we now look at he talked about his 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 pure repentance. Look at this. Look over. Here. Let's make some application as we go along. Look, look at this. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse number 5. Mm -hmm. Everything comes under the obedience of Christ. Are you ready to turn it loose? Look. Pseudo, fake religion, Catholicism, Roman and Greek. What do you mean Roman and Greek? The Catholic Church split in 1054. You had the Eastern Church and the Western Church at Rome. One at Constantinople. Well, listen to me now. The Greek, I'm a little off there, but the Greek and the Catholic. Greek Catholic and Roman Catholic. Listen, they were split off. They're not in the scripture. Well, uh, denominationalism of all kinds. You have the Masons, Eastern Star, and Zodiac stuff. Wait a minute. Am I hitting anybody? A lot of members of the church try to practice uh, being a Mason, Freemason, all this. That stuff not in scripture. You can't be an uh, active Mason and a member of the church at the same time. That's just like saying, you know what, I, I can serve God and the devil. Oh, really? Jesus said, you serve the devil. You can't serve me and the devil. Hey, Amen. I'm helping somebody. Eastern Star got to get that stuff up. You don't need that junk. Hey, Amen. Man made. Oh, we got all this here right here. Boy, man, it's a lot of stuff here. Boy, I, I don't have time to deal with all this. Go ahead and get it. I got all, I did your homework for you. Right, right. Go ahead and look at all this stuff here. And you know what? You'd be surprised if people don't leave home till they read the horoscope. Right. What is that? All right. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, I, I, I can't get along with her because she, she's, uh, she's a Leo and I'm, I'm whatever. I don't know. So in other words, so in other words the Bible is wrong. So in other words, you can't get along because you was born one month and I was born another. So we can't get along. If you're not getting along, it's because not of that, it's because of the devil. Amen. The devil is in one or both of you. Yes, if you're not getting along at home or at church on your job, don't put it on when you were born because you didn't have nothing to do with that. Right. Put it on who you are trusting and it's most likely the devil. Yes, you don't trust Christ and you say, well, I just can't get along with nobody. Really? I know the Bible says, if it be possible, right. live at peace with all men. I know some folk is hard to get along with, yes, but not everybody. Right. Yep. Can you get along with yourself? <laughs> all right, let's go here now. That, that's good, isn't it? Well, Paul's precious redemption, position to enjoy and be found in him. Listen to me. Salvation is is only in Christ Jesus. Right. Then you listen. What do you mean in Christ Jesus? When I say in Christ Jesus, that's a part for the whole. What do you mean? When you're in Christ, you're in his church. Right. All right? When you're in Christ, you're a Christian. Mm -hmm. When you're in Christ, you've been cleansed from your sin. Right. Listen. When you're in Christ, you're a Christian, you're a child of God. You've been born again. That, that's what it means to be in Christ. Somebody say, I'm in Christ, but I'm not a member of the church of Christ. Really? You really think I believe that? The people who know the Bible know better than that. Right. No way in the world you can be in Christ and not in his church. Somebody say, I'm in Christ, but I'm in one of these denominations church. You, you dream it. Amen. That's not true. No, sir. And you don't want to take my word. Start, i tell you what you do. Wait, wait a minute. Let's do it like this. 
why don't you take some time out since you want to argue that foolishness? Take some time out and, and go to the internet and look for the church that you're in and the organization, what you believe, when it was established, and it'll tell you. And the reason I'm telling you to go to the internet because you can't go to the Bible because it's not in there. Right, now, if I want to write a paper on the church of Christ, I can take the Bible on me. Right. But if you're in a denominational church, you can't take the Bible and write nothing on your church. Why? Because it's not in there. Right. Now, you're just trying to dominate. Now, you think you're the only one right. Man, stop that. I'm trying to teach you. Here you are. Go. I'm telling you to go to the Bible and read for yourself. Right. Don't take my word. Read. R-E-A-D. Read. Right. Read and research and be reasonable. And realize your condition. Don't get mad at me. Y'all remember the church choir. Y'all think y'all the only one right. Holy. The Bible is what's right. All right. Oh, I got it. Good. All right. Here. Now. Is that pretty good? All right. Praying to eliminate. Not having my own righteousness, which is of the law. Paul said, I'm going to have to eliminate that. Right. And all the stuff that you do. There's a lot of people who do a lot of good stuff. Listen to me who are not members of the church, they do a lot of good deeds. Right. Salvation, armor, Bellevue, but they do a lot of good deeds. Right. But see, that kind of stuff don't save you. Right. Jesus Christ only saves you, but you got to be in him. Right. Got it? Pardon to enjoy, but that which is through, watch it, the faith of Jesus. What does it mean, the faith of Jesus? Is what Jesus Christ did on Calvary. Listen to me, brethren. Listen. What Christ did on the cross is the faith of Jesus Christ, not your faith. Christ shed his blood and he paid for our salvation. He paid for the church. We have faith in Christ. C-H-R-I-S-T. Somebody said, I'm just going to be baptized. Wait a minute. Your faith don't need to be in baptism. Your faith needs to be in Christ. He's the one going to save you. And you need to say whatever Jesus tells me to do that's what I'm going to do because he is my Savior. Yes, Amen. 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 Good? When you realize that Jesus is your Savior, it won't be hard for you to change. Right. Amen. Amen. Good. Huh. The righteousness which is of God by faith. Person to enjoy that I may know him. Do you know him? Somebody say, I know Jesus. You do? You ever heard him speak through his word? No, well, you don't know him. Right. You heard somebody talk about him, but you don't know him. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Good, right? Power to enjoy and the power of the resurrection. Oh, boy, this is so good, isn't it? A pain, what they mean, a pain to endure and the fellowship of his suffering. Somebody said, I'm not doing no suffering. Well, I can tell you who you're working for. Yep. If you're working for Christ, you're going to do some suffering. Amen, somebody. Please listen to me. Please listen. There's going to be some suffering. They didn't live godly shall suffer first. In second, second Timothy 2 and verse number 12. That's all right. Look here. Uh, then it said, and the fellowship of his suffering. Watch it. Being made conformer unto his death. All right. Praise to enjoy. If by any means I may attain unto the resurrection of the dead. All right, somebody. I hope you got that. Let me, let me do it like this. is a little unusual. What questions do you have? It may be somebody got a question I want to ask right now. Brother Shannon, what are you doing? I'm doing my job. Amen. Are you listening? Now to be saved, Jesus Christ paid for our salvation on the cross. That's the grounds of our salvation. To have remission of sins, you have to appropriate the remission of sin is by obeying Jesus. All you have to do is just obey Jesus. Amen. Wait, wait a minute. Obey. What, what you hear this gospel belief? Jesus died. He was buried. He rose again the third day. You, you. I believe that. Do you believe Jesus Christ ascended back to heaven? I believe that. You believe He's God's only begotten Son? I believe that. You believe He died on the cross for you? I believe that. Now. Do you believe that Jesus says you got to repent? Well, what is repent? What is repentance? What is really? Is it confessing sin? No, it's not confessing sin. It's you making up in your mind 
that all this crazy stuff that I'm doing contrary to God's word, I got to stop. I got to change my mind and stop. Any church, any religious order that you in and stuff you're doing, all this jumping and clapping and crazy stuff they do in religion, God don't accept that stuff. You're going to have to come out of them churches. Right. They got bands going on. They got the women up shaking from left to right. They don't know how to dress. They dress like folks at the nightclub. All that crazy right. stuff. You got to come out of that stuff. Now you, what? That church and all that stuff, you got to come out of there. Right. Ready, ready to do it? Then when you make up in your mind, you walk down the aisle or run down the aisle. Mm -hmm. So I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. We'll baptize you in water in the name of Jesus Christ and it'll be for the remission of sin right. and the Lord takes over. He'll save you. Right. Now, that's the easy part. You ever got a job somewhere? Child, I can't wait till I get this job. Then they hire you and call you and say, well, you've been accepted. You can start to work Monday. Well, I got hired, but I really don't feel like going this morning. Really? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So they gave you a job because of the grace. Right. Now you're going to keep it up? Now the Lord has saved you. Is it going to be a problem with you worshiping him every first day of the week? Is it going to be a problem for you to give or you mean that he bless you with a job? Is that going to be a problem? Is it going to be a problem for you to be nice to your neighbors? Is it going to be a, a problem to be nice to members? Is it going to... Now he done saved you. You were talking about, I, I want to be saved. All right, now he's saved. Now, you ready to continue to be faithful? You got the job, and you, you have so much confidence in it, you don't went out and bought a new house and a new car. Yes, right. yes, sir. And you think that them folks are, well, they, they, they hired me, so they're going to keep me. Really? You got to perform. Jesus tells us to be faithful unto death. And if you're here and you're a member of the Church of Christ, you need to make some changes. If you're here and you hadn't obeyed the gospel, why not do it right now? Together we stand and sing. Thank you as always for watching uh, this series of lessons. Uh, God bless you richly. Take care of yourselves and each other.